And the United Nations has said that since the war in Ukraine started, 70,000 Ukrainian children uh, every day become refugees, 70,000. That's unbelievable, yeah. Half of those refugees as well, uh, we know, are children. So what can the UK do to help? The government has, of course, launched its new Homes for Ukraine programme for people who want to host a refugee. Uh, the papers have the quote of 122,000 at least having signed up uh, so far. Well, we're joined now by Dr Krish Kandaya. He's the founder of Sanctuary Foundation, a refugee charity. I don't know if you've got an update on that total at all. 122,000 is about where we're at. Good, good, good. Uh, look, you've been advising specifically Michael Gove on how to operate this scheme. Just tell us uh, what sort of conversations you've been having? So I'm cheering the government on that they've opened this scheme. A lot of people in the nation have been waiting quite a long time. We, we felt we'd been lagging behind other nations. Think about Moldova. It's a, a nation of just 2.1 million people. That's less than the population of Greater Manchester. Uh, they received over 100,000 refugees. But the UK has only received a handful so we've seen from this massive response to the government's website, even our little website's had 21,000 people say they want to pledge to support. So there's this appetite in the nation that we want to help uh, these refugees get somewhere safe to live. Why is there this appetite, Chris? Because um, notoriously there has been a, a kickback mm. with refugees and people have been through wars as bad as this in, in yes. Eastern Africa and, and whatever. What's the difference? I think it's the scale I think the number of refugees leaving Ukraine, I mean, if you think about the Syrian crisis, yeah. that was about 1.5 million refugees, but over two years. Yeah. It, in just three weeks, we've seen nearly double that. So yeah. I think it's the scale of it. Um, and it's closer. It's physically closer. It's yeah. a three-hour flight. Many of us have got friends from Poland. That's just next door to Ukraine. Yeah. So it, it's how... And there's also it. more pictures. There's more TV coverage as well. So I think people actually see the horrors of this war, whereas I think in places like Africa, mm. it's just like... Yes. Well, that's right. It somewhere. shows you guys are doing a good job right. helping us see what's going on. And it, it just taps into our empathy. Yeah. We want to do what we can. Look, we're aware that there's a problem housing uh, people who are seeking asylum in mm. this country anyway. Lots of people being put up in uh, hotels and definitely costing the government a huge amount of money. So if this scheme of people opening their private doors is successful, mm. this is a bit of a win for the government, isn't it? They've, <laughs> they've, they've solved themselves a, a huge headache. Do you see there being any pitfalls or downsides to this? I think there's some real wonderful advantages about this scheme in that I've been working with Afghan refugees and you're right, there's about 11,500 refugees in temporary accommodation, in hotels. It costs about £4.7 million a day to keep people Gosh. there. And it's no good for them in terms of getting their lives back together again. This, it took a long time for the kids to get into school, they can't cook their own food, they can't be a family together. Yeah. Uh, so this, this scheme will help, but it, it can only really be temporary um, you know, even the mo mo most generous of us uh, are going to struggle for a long time to keep a family of three or four within our family mm. walls. Mm. Um, so I see it as a stepping stone to their own accommodation eventually. Yeah. There is enough accommodation in the nation. It's just not all available as social housing. And that's one of the big... Well, just big credit to, to anybody who's, who's doing it, mm. uh, even thinking about it. Dr. Chris Candia, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Oh, Krish, I brought you a gift, actually. Yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. Just, um, my daughter and my wife and my sister have been making these little... It's not a Lovely. Just thank as a little you. token to say we're with Ukraine. And Beautiful. It's very subtle. Thank just you very much. With the people of Ukraine. But yeah. Thanks thank for having you. me on. Thank you. thank you very much indeed. Uh, Chris runs uh, Sanctuary Foundation, a charity that helps refugees.